doing Kaiju here and welcome back again to another Monster Musume manga chapter review and obviously from like the previous chapter this is obviously continuing from what happened you know continuing the new school arc and you know this chapter was actually a, a little bit better than the previous one I like this chapter a little bit more than chapter 74 well the overall chapter is kind of you know showing like the new students and sort of like the relationships with like the all of these monster girls trapped in this you know high school world. It's not a bad chapter. I kind of you know like seeing stuff like this you know the other monster girls and you know like other human characters interacting. So it's not bad. But you know the overall chapter doesn't have that much stuff to talk about besides you know obviously a lot of the stuff going on is the monster girls and you know interacting with the human male characters and pretty much sort of showing some stuff around the school like the air rifle shooting range i don't know why they have that as part of a school club but whatever it's pretty much you know seeing all of the other stuff and then we have himihito here who's the only one who remembers what's going on but not Probably not like the only one for right now since apparently later on this chapter also Poppy the Harpy starts regaining sort of like her memory starts to remember like what is going on and it's mostly due to the fact that she you knows she's a harpy she's trying to like fly back home and like instinctually but when she's trying to get away obviously from the school she also ends up being like teleported back so you know which practically means that this world is not like really big you know i was expecting this world to be like a fully fleshed out like you know world where like aside from the school there's like another city and whatnot turns out it's not that way there's like uh sort of like a loop i not really like a time loop but more of a loop that if you try to get too far away from the school or the student dorms you're just gonna end up being teleported back to the school so there's nothing practically out, nothing outside of this world besides, you know, just the school and the student dorms. So obviously because of that, Poppy the Harpy can't really go home. She's obviously trying to go home back to the, you know, the Kurusu home, but she ends up being teleported back to the school. You know, I thought that was pretty interesting. Aside from that, you know, it also reveals that all of the students and the monster girls in the school are like the only, you know, actual living or actual you know people here that are actual people well these teachers and the staff and you know all of the people like the store managers and whatnot are all like NPCs which is very weird you know and they kind of show what the teachers and everyone looks like and they look kind of terrified like their faces are just blank and their eyes kind of look like very reptilian but yeah it turns out they're all NPCs and not real people besides just you know the students pretty crazy stuff but either ways, aside from that, we also, what I would say is the highlight for the chapter for me is the introduction of these two harpy girls. And, you know, it's pretty cool. We get finally see a little bit more of more harpy species, more of the harpy girls. We get a owl harpy girl. She looks very cute. And the other one is a raptor harpy girl, but she's not really a new species. And she was introduced in one of the anime end cards from, along with the other part of the harpy species. But... Hey, it's nice to see more of her and more of the raptor harpy species in the manga, as well as a new one, the owl harpy species, which I believe she's going to be a part of the raptor harpy species, since I guess raptor uh, birds are like very carnivorous, and I guess like, you know, like hawks and like owls sort of very similar, but in terms of, you know, part of that, but either ways, it's pretty neat to see, you know, more harpies in the manga, and I hope to see more of them, but... Aside from that, you know, the manga sort of, like, this chapter sort of ends off with, like, the reveal of, like, the five ghost stories that the, that is, is going on in the school. So, basically, you have, like, the one-eyed Hanako-san, which is basically, you know, based off of uh, Hanako-san from the toilet from, like, Japanese folklore. But, yeah, apparently all of these five ghost stories are, you know, it's just basically Team Mon, you know. The one-eyed Hanako is Manako, then you have like Zombina here, Tio, Doppo, and then you also have Lala, which is very impressive because she's not really a part of Team Mon, but Lala is here since she's, I guess, a supernatural like monster girl, so obviously she's going to be a part of the ghost stories. But yeah, that's practically, practically for me, the highlight for the chapter was, you know, the Harpy Girls and the um, ghost story reveal. 
which is pretty interesting because you know this obviously confirms that uh, Team Mon and Lala are so we're also sucked into this you know high school world, but instead of obviously being like you know normal like students, they're like sort of like the ghosts or like the supernatural part of elements of this school, or like the supernatural legends or folklore going on here. And I think that was pretty, you know, a pretty interesting way to include them. Either way, this chapter was pretty solid. I quite liked it. I kind of want to see more of, you know, the ghost stories and how, you know, Team Mon got here or how, you know, they're like, by the end, they'll be like ghosts in this world. But yeah, I, I'm really excited for the next chapter. I thought this chapter was very good, much better than the previous one. There's not, there's not much really to talk about besides, you know, obviously the big highlights for me for this chapter. Either ways, this video was short. I hope you guys liked it. I quite liked this chapter. If you have your thoughts on this new chapter, what do you think? Please leave it down in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next video.